Hello, I'm Dale Novella from Building Beats. Building Beats is a music education nonprofit based in New York City, which serves communities in after school programs, community centers, and homeless shelters. If you'd like to know more about Building Beats, please visit our website at buildingbeats.org and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Now let's get into how to record vocals and external instruments in Soundtrap. So here's a session that I had that I started a couple days ago. And you'll see several different tracks. Let's listen. <laughs> So, as you can hear, I added a second loop from the loop menu, and I took it down, well, I took it down an octave. <laughs> Next, I have piano chords, another piano chord strap, which I brought up. So that it was higher than the original. These are my drums. I have two different drum tracks, which I like to do. And then here, where it says mic and mic 2, are the tracks that I recorded from my USB mic. I soloed the first mic track just so you can hear it. So that's me clicking a pin. Now to, and you can record this with a USB mic the same as you would maybe a acoustic guitar that doesn't have plug-in capabilities or if you're, you have any instrument that um, you may not have an interface or you may not have anything but a USB, by USB, you may not have anything but a USB mic or your internal microphone for your computer or um, phone. So in order to get a microphone track, you see all the different types of tracks here. Actually, not quite. See, add new track. And now you see all the different types of MIDI instruments and audio capabilities that Soundtrap has. So you would add a new track, and then when you're ready to record, this is my USB mic right here. You can also change it so you are using your default internal microphone. It's going to be set as the default internal microphone if you do not have any external, if you don't have an interface, if you don't have a USB mic plugged in, it's gonna be default to that internal microphone. And uh, if you don't want any effects, you can turn all of this down if you want. Oh, well, you should keep the pan centered. Pan centered, volume, wherever you like it. Um, and when you're ready, press start recording. Also here, it says computer mic enhancer. That's what I used on both the tracks that I recorded, but there are a bunch of different effects presets that you can use. So these presets will have predetermined fuzz, predetermined delay, predetermined reverb, um, 
um, compression and EQ will already be set. So if you're not the best at that type of stuff, you can just listen to the types of uh, presets they have in Soundtrap. So literally all I did with this pen was hold it up to my USB mic. But once again, you can do that with a guitar, you can do it with a drum kit, um, you can do that with any instrument really. You can even, if, even if you have an electric guitar but you have no way to plug your electric guitar into your computer, if you don't have an interface, you can put a USB mic up to your amp. But be careful because it might, it might distort, the sound might distort. With my vocals. And unfortunately, I had the playback so loud you can actually hear the ticking from the snare picking up in my mic from my headphones. Luckily, it goes along with the music. So if that happens to you, if it's a demo, like we're demoing today, then don't worry about it. It's a problem if it's the, the, the final session. For whatever reason, if you make a mistake and you want to just uh, punch in wherever you made a mistake, place your cursor wherever you'd like to split the audio. Make sure you have your region selected and double click and you can do split region. Now I split my regions where it was just dead space. And you don't have to do, you don't have to look through like a tools menu or anything like that to add fades. They're automatically at the top corners of each region. And of course, this little circle is a loop. So. Pretty easy. Now, if you'd like to add any automation, like let's say, I think I'm a little bit too loud in the middle of my verse. Just add, add automation like that. So put two selections far apart and then wherever you want it to be lower, the lowest you want the sound to be, you drag that to the bottom. But I don't really care. I don't need automation for this. Just my own opinion. So it's really easy to get started in Soundtrap recording your own vocals. Um, once again, like I said, if you don't have an interface or a USB mic, it will automatically choose your internal microphone to record from. But if you're using headphones, for example, that have a microphone on them, that works as well. It'll pick up the sound from the headphones. Um, but always double check and make sure that that's what's selected for the input for your track. And always make sure you save. So that's how you record external instruments and voice in Soundtrap. Of course, we also have a lot of MIDI capabilities and sampling and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you get a free account if you don't already have a free account or even if you have a paid account and make some beats and let me know how they sound. So once again, I'm Dale Novella from Building Beats. And to learn more or to sign up for classes, visit buildingbeats.org. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. See you soon.